guys we got some boxes in we definitely got some progress made on the obs um big thanks for vince for spending hours literally getting all this residue off we still got a little bit more to go but it's looking much much better uh there was glue strips where the factory trim was all the way around the truck and up on top where the um vent visors used to be so that's all cleaned off we're well on our way of prepping this thing we got some parts in i'm not even sure what that is i do know what that is um, but we're going to get these boxes opened up and we're doing some adjustments on the front end here getting this fender lined up a little better and like i said we're just making a lot of progress progress we got the whole front end pulled off here i uh, got a new grill coming new headlights a uh, new bumper new rear bumper and this truck is going to look really really different really really soon got the pro comps put back on it um yeah let's keep going let's get this box opened i'm really excited about this because while we're, we're making this truck way nicer than it was it is by no means going to be a show truck um, it's definitely going to be a very usable truck these are obviously fender flares for it um, kind of keep it more legal with the bigger tires um, and you know it protects the body a little bit it's got a mean aggressive look uh, this whole theme will come together these play a big part of the theme and um, this is going to be a really decent everyday trail ready truck that will you can drive it down the street to work back home on your way home if you want to pull up, pull right off the road go down through the weeds go through a trail go through a creek on your way home and then pull back on the road and just keep on driving it's not going to hurt this truck it'll be more more than capable of doing it and uh that's the direction we're headed on this truck now for the second box this is really going to freshen the front of this truck up we have some black smoke headlights the whole front end kit actually and this is going to make a huge difference to freshen the front of this truck up we still got more parts coming We've still got a lot of work left but it's definitely on its way we did mock up a fender flare just to get an idea it does have a plastic uh, protector on there so that's why it looks crappy but um yeah that that uh is the look we're going after these are gonna really freshen it up uh this is gonna be an awesome build it's a new day new morning we're back to work on the obs we have a brand new rim here and we also have i think it's a brand new tire to be honest with you it is a brand new tire so let's get these road thrown in the extreme hopefully it fits let's see if we can grab it here uh, it'll fit. Might hit these toes, but we'll be all right. There we go. We'll throw the rim in there. We're gonna go get this mounted, balanced, and we're gonna stop by and try and get some more parts for this thing at the junkyard. This truck's older, so like the fan shroud was busted. We need to get one of those. Uh, obviously, the hood's messed up. <clears throat> I think we can locate one of those. A couple other things odds and ends we need um i did locate some new bumpers we're going to see if the jug card has any used used will be most likely gm so we can put gm bumpers back on if there's nothing nice there we'll just get new aftermarket bumpers no big deal and we did get our obviously our fender flares in <clears throat> we got our headlights in these look really good not sure if I showed this already or not, but yeah, I did. Showed that yesterday, so that's gonna make a big update on the front of this truck. Not so much update, just clean, clean the front of this up. The headlights were that were on there, besides the grill being busted and stuff like that, were just old and dingy. So <clears throat> we're gonna get that taken care of, and I think we might even stop and pick up. Our exterior resurfacing that might be a clue but um, yeah it's 
Let's move them right along. Let's let's keep this moving along and we'll get this thing done. All right guys, we are running all over the place today. Um, this does take up a lot of time in sourcing parts, especially for these older trucks. Sometimes you just gotta go to the junkyard. So we just left the junkyard. We got a decent tailgate that works. Um, we got a fan shroud to replace the fan shroud. We got the fender extension we need um, and a couple other parts, the air intake tube. We're back from the junkyard and our, our other running today. We did source a fan shroud, the top and the bottom. The top wasn't trashed on the other one, but these uh, mounting tabs or bolt holes were broke. Um, so we got a new fan shroud or a, a good use fan shroud. We have this air induct system that goes into here. It's missing that part. Not a big deal. A lot of people may not even use it, but we're going to put it back. Uh, make this complete under the hood um what else did we get we'll run around out here we did get a box in too some more parts and since this tailgate does not work doesn't work it's got it's hard to see on video but it does have some dents in it and a little bit of rust so and it's got all this glue residue on it <clears throat> so we just sourced out a whole nother tailgate this one works uh these stickers will peel right off and overall it's just better shape so we sourced that out we'll pop that on um we did get our material ordered for resurfacing the exterior and Oh, uh, we got our wheel and tire mounted too. It's under the tailgate, but it's under there. So we'll get that thrown on. We have the other three already on. We'll pull this super swamper off, put that tire on, and we'll be sitting level again at least. And let's keep going. All right, guys, we are under the OBS. And as you can see from the piles of mud, dirt, rust, if you're under an old truck and you're working on it, we're actually removing the rear bumper right now. Wear your safety glasses and you will get covered in some debris, especially if it was used as a mud truck. So let's get this bumper off. We'll get all this pressure washed and cleaned off. And uh, we have another bumper going on. We do also have to replace the brake line. Uh, we're just going to do them both. The, the across the axle brake lines. We're going to go ahead and throw a new rubber hose on there too since we have the system broke down and it's right there. Um, the front to back line has already been done at some point and still looks in decent shape, shape. So we'll leave that, replace the rubber hose, and both across the axles. So let's go ahead and get that popped off. And uh, we have to make a run to a parts store, so we'll pick all that up. It's time to put the Turbo GMC to work once again. Let's get it backed out and hooked up to the trailer because we need to go pick up some stuff. Got some bumpers, front and back bumpers, another seat, a pair of door panels, some bumper brackets, a mirror, and uh, we got a couple other parts too. So let's get this stuff unloaded, get the truck unloaded, and uh, get back to work. <laughs> that was definitely on purpose. He thinks he can go across the jump in reverse, but. <laughs> He doesn't really want to do a jump. He just wants to take it back to the ankle. <laughs> Steve almost smashed it. Alright, I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh! I'll video from Jessica Struck. It's fine. I can't help but notice you haven't hit your ankles yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's that glit out like butter. Glit out. <laughs> glit out. Yeah, that's what that's what made me laugh, not the fact that I was being a queer. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's time to take out the the. 
right, guys, so it's time to take out the tail lights, and obviously you know that we're taking them out for a reason. We're taking it out, obviously, because we're gonna refinish this thing. So we need to do some sanding and some uh, prep work, so we gotta get the tail light out of the way. Three, two, one. Oh, and good morning and welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Senna Steve. And today, it's about this old girl. This old OBS Chevy here, we're getting ready to do a whole revamp on. So let's just jump right into the video. I don't know what, <laughs> that's good. We got our pressure washer set back up <clears throat> because this thing is still dirty. We got the bumpers off, everything pretty much prepped, but we need to wash this thing again because there's still mud packed in all kinds of different places so let's get this pressure washed down again we do have the bed liner out we'll hit all that clean all that out and just get this thing ready let's just get ready <laughs> 